People say that Hull has got to be one of the biggest villages in the world. It's a very close-knit community. I can't go anywhere in West Hull without somebody saying, Hi Kerry, hi Kerry, hi Kerry. George is my dog. I got him from a rescue centre when he was two. He thinks he's a teenager, but we don't tell him he's an old man. I take him to Little Swiss every day, and it's where I do my thinking for the Orange Project. The Orange Project programme is designed to engage young people in an hands-on approach to give them a real feel of what engineering as a career would be really like. This is about inspiring the kids, just by realising that if they get them grades, that these opportunities are available. I hold up a chocolate orange and say that is all of engineering. Unwrap it and all the different segments of the orange represents all the different parts of engineering. I work as a process technician to produce acetic acid on the chemical plant. I'm used to being out on plant in the overalls and spanners. When I first stood up in front of the kids, it's like, wow, I'm not used to this. And then you can see the kids are like having a, a eureka moment when the penny really drops. That to me is worth a lot. I do this PPE exercise and it's built in as a relay and it's based on what PPE we need to access our site. The learning that safety is paramount and for BP safety is first. The ping pong balls explain how molecules work. It's about that interaction and that feel and touch of it. What the learning in the classroom is transferable to industry. The Orange Project can inspire the engineers of tomorrow. If we'd have had somebody like the Orange Project coming into my school, it would have given me a more defined route of where I wanted to be. If we don't put into the community, we're not going to generate for the future and we must invest in youngsters for the future. This is great for Hull because, providing you're prepared to go out and work hard, there is the opportunities out there. You just need to go out and get them.